what's going on chris becker here so i got a chance to play sorry we're closed on steam i went ahead talked about it i made a gameplay video i talked about it on games to discover this audio is from games to discover and the gameplay footage is what i captured while playing it so make sure you like subscribe and share thanks for watching enjoy the video and maybe check out the podcast enjoy sorry we're closed um this is one where i sent you a list like a, an image just showing my previously played steam games right and i was like yeah. here's the games i played and you're like what is that game on the end <laughs> Uh, yeah, because it's a very eye-catching, uh, like, uh, key art, is... yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's sorry we're closed, but then it's like, uh, a woman with horns, and she's got a collar on, and her, like, a demonic-looking tongue, and I think the collar has, like, a tag on it that says baby, but yeah. Yeah, it's like a blue-skin blonde teeth earrings just big big tooth earrings that kind of stand like um, I, I, is that the vibe that actually matches the game or like this is just like a eye-catching cover i think yeah the, no yeah this is the vibe that matches the game and like the character designs um it is definitely a um more of like the like um i think they even say it in the description it says sorry we're closed is the nostalgic single player survival horror game with rich lore deep characters and multiple endings explore unsettling locations with fixed camera angles fight in first person with demonic weapons open your third eye to see between worlds uncover the secrets and solve puzzles so um so that's that. Uh, the game starts off where you are basically just just yourself, living your life. You um, are working at a, where do you work? You work at like a convenience store, right? And um, while you're working there, what's happening is um, it's about to close, you know, it finishes. It closes, you head out for the night. Um, there's a lot of talking in this game, I will say. There's like a lot of story being told, at least especially in the beginning. So they have like the beginning and opening section of what's happening. Um, and you just, you close up, you, um, and I say, now I say you close up, but really it's, it closes up and uh, it just, cuts for, from you being closing up to boom um you outside right and then yeah. um what happens is there is kind of like a um uh um you're like well i better head to bed so if you want you can go around the corner to your apartment and just go right to bed or you can like talk to the people because there's like people outside it's night nightlife happening mm -hmm. um you can talk to them if you want and um but then when you go to bed this is all like looks like a ps1 kind of fixed Maybe camera angles survive. yeah they even have a um an option for um they even have an option for uh tank controls if you want otherwise you just up is up down is down Otherwise, you got to spin yeah. around to do it. Um, but yeah, and then um, it's third person. But then when you go into first person, it is uh, all um, that's where you do your damn like fighting. Um, and what happens is you go to sleep. Um, and when you finally do go to sleep, you're visited in your sleep by a demon who uh, I'm is like looking for love and wants you to like join them 
and you're like, mm, I don't know, no thanks. At least that's what I said, and I just went to bed. So you just went to sleep. You know, like I had enough for today. This is my life. I'm yeah. Going to sleep. Right. Exactly. You're like, no thanks. I don't want to do this. Um. And um. And so you're like, no, I'm gonna go back to sleep. You wake up. What you don't realize is under your hair, like your bangs in the front, like curly bangs. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah is an an eye you, like you have like another eye over on top of your head or on your forehead now and um this is like your third eye that you can see between the worlds of the living and the demonic right and oh, that's cool. yeah plus the colors are kind of like neon kind of like a neon close sign um but yeah so you're using that for, and then you just kind of go back to work like nothing ever happened or yeah, like nothing ever happened. It cuts to you at work. And then the next night, like, then you're like, that was weird. I don't know if that actually happened or not, but then like more and more stuff happens and, um, you eventually will find a woman. You, you, there's like a gate that is, um, ripped open by creatures right mm -hmm. and you're like that's odd what how did this happen and so there it's ripped open by demons you go through it and then you realize that with that eye that you can see between worlds you might see um um there's like a bunch of like overgrown ivy there now but then if you switch then it's not there and you can just go through it's like that sort of thing that you're doing with it um and then you'll find TV or uh, phones on the wall and you just go up to them and then you can um, not only get phone calls for like hints, but then also um, get uh, look at the f phone calls to um, what is it like um, save. So you're saving that way as well. Um, mm, that's an interesting thing. Yeah. And so it starts off with you having an axe and then you eventually get a gun uh, only about five minutes after you get the knife or the, the axe. And so when you get a gun, you if one of the demons, the creatures that's coming at you is coming at you, you can use your third eye to bring up like in between worlds and it shows like a heart on them. And then you can just do what you do best and just aim right for the heart with the the gun shoot it and when you shoot it it will turn into um it'll be like an instant kill and so like you kill them instantly and uh yeah it is um sorry we're closed so far i'm enjoying enjoying it enough to keep playing it but i don't know um if I will end up beating it, but so far it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, pretty interesting, you know. Yeah. That's not what I thought it was gonna be at all. <laughs> be <perfect. laughs> yeah. Um it's not what I thought it was gonna be at all. Like I, well one thing I didn't expect was there to be as much talking as there is. Like there's a bunch of like different characters that you're meeting. Um some of like the character design and the art and stuff also almost kind of reminds me of um white what's the the neon white sort of oh yeah it just like the the different kind of characters that you have but the pace of the game is a little bit slower it's more like like a resident evil type game but it does yeah. it's kind of like resident evil if it was like in the world of neon white kind of almost um because, oh, because there is good, like good there is like blood and stuff but then there's also um it's like the characters look kind of i don't know yeah that's i guess the best way i could describe it but yeah i'm enjoying it um it uh i was playing it uh just on my mac it, it doesn't have mac support but i got uh I got whiskey on my Mac so I can play PC games. And so I've been doing that oh, and okay. uh, played it with no problem, no issues. Um, and yeah, uh, so that is 
out now. It is uh, $24.99 on sale now for $22.50. I th- did I already say that? I don't think you did. Okay, that might have been. Oh, okay. I think that was Beastie Ball. So many. T- yep. Yeah, twenty yeah. twenty twenty four ninety nine is the I, new fourteen ninety nine. That's the new twenty. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, it is new fourteen because it was fourteen fifty nine back in the day, especially with the uh, three sixty arcade stuff. You know. Oh like yeah, those were like four ninety nine. You know? Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. they started getting licensed games, and then they were like, yeah. Um. But then, um. But yeah, so. There's that. Um, and then we've got a few more games, but we're going to go ahead and take a quick break and we will be right back. <laughs> 